I have a tomato basil soup recipe that you just might want to make two batches of because it's that good. This tomato basil soup recipe is one that you can make quickly using stuff that's already in your pantry. I'm using dried uh, spices, so I'm gonna use dried basil, dried oregano, so these are things that can be in your pantry. And it only takes 10 minutes of time, in, of actual cook time in the pressure cooker. So you can have for your family a homemade tomato soup ready to go for your next grilled cheese or a batch of it for your next potluck that is a winner, that is made from scratch, and that tastes like home. Hi, I'm Deborah. My channel is The Last Minute Cook, and if you're new here, consider subscribing, hit that red button, and don't forget to ring the bell to be notified of new episodes. So for this tomato basil soup recipe that is delicious, it's super easy, super quick, thanks to our Instant Pot. We are going to start with sauteing some onion. The second step is super easy. We're gonna dump all, our all of our ingredients in, and then we're done. So we're gonna start by going to our saute feature. All right, so when we're on the saute, it says 30 minutes, but you don't need to worry about the time there. You just wanna make sure you're on medium, saute, and go. We're gonna add a tablespoon or so of olive oil. Just really enough oil to cook those onions in until they're nice and cooked down and yellow and all yummy looking. We're gonna get that in there. We are having some cold weather, so this is a perfect recipe for tonight. So we are going to saute this in. Once we've got our half of a large white onion going and sauteed nicely, it's about two or three minutes of stirring that in. We're gonna add, um, you can either take four cloves of finely chopped fresh garlic or two tablespoons of minced. I just tend to keep on hand the minced. Um, so throw in teaspoons, not tablespoons, two teaspoons. of mint. Then we're gonna stir that in. We're adding the garlic after we've, saute after we've sauteed the onion because the, uh, the garlic will burn, so we wanna add that in after we've got our onions where we want them. Then we'll just stir that around for about a minute and then I'm gonna turn off the saute so that we don't burn our garlic. All right, so that's in there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel. I'm gonna to continue to stir it while it's hot. Ingredients. So this recipe is four cans of your diced tomatoes and your, I guess these are the 14 ounce, or you can use two of the large 28 ounce. So we're gonna go with four cans of diced tomatoes. I'm gonna go with a generous tablespoon of basil. I'm going to go with a teaspoon of oregano and a half a teaspoon of salt. I've pre-measured mine. I'm just gonna throw that all in here in just a second. Then we're also going to add four cups of vegetable broth, and that's it. So I'm gonna get that in, stir it all well. One, that's gonna cool down those onions and keep that garlic from getting overcooked. If you look in there and see that the garlic is like brown, don't worry, just keep going. This is a very forgiving recipe. It's my favorite kind, the kind that you can kind of throw it together and turns out awesome. So there we go. There's our first can. All right, get those in there. And then I'm going to throw our um, oregano, basil, and salt. Give that a little mix. And then I'm gonna pour in my four cups of vegetable broth. And it's so handy that it comes in a box, four cups. All right, we're just gonna give that a good stir. Then we will. I'm gonna cook this on a high pressure for 10 minutes. 
So we're going to go to our manual pressure. Manual pressure for 10 minutes on high and hit start. When this is done, we are going to add one more ingredient and it's really your choice. You can do a half a cup of sour cream or a half a cup of Greek yogurt. So we're gonna add that in, but we're not gonna add it in while we're cooking. We're gonna wait till we're done with that. So we'll check back in 10 minutes and do our next step. We have cooked our tomato basil soup for 10 minutes now. It took about 10 minutes to come to pressure and preheat. So I'm gonna do a quick release so that we can get eating. You do not need to do a wait for a natural release on this soup. The little pin is dropped. We are ready to go. Let's check it out. Woo. Now we're going to add in half a cup of sour cream. You can also use Greek yogurt. Um, I personally prefer it with the sour cream, and I, yeah, that always have kind of sour cream on hand regardless. Um, but either one is fine. So we're going to go with the sour cream. And I'm using a full sour cream. You probably could go with a lighter version. You know, they have the, the less fat and all that, but this is just your standard sour cream. So a half a cup of that. Add it in. Then I'm going to hit cancel so we don't keep um, heating it while we blend all of this together into a creamy consistency. So hit cancel there. Stir this in a little bit. Okay. And we'll get our handheld mixer. So this is gonna be hot, so just make sure your blender's not gonna spit up at you. We're gonna go slow on this. I'm just keeping it nice and low because I don't want boiling hot liquid to jump out at me, so just, just keep it low in there. You can also pour this out into a blender you don't have an immersion mixer. Let's try this. Yum, yum, yum. Shredded Parmesan. And serve it with a little pita cracker and take a taste. Let's see, it's piping hot. This, this is restaurant worthy, good stuff, and so fast to make. And the perfect touch of oregano to the basil. Mm. Okay, homemade tomato soup in less time than it takes to just get the kids in the car. So make this with the stuff you've got on hand. Enjoy, we're gonna be having this for dinner tonight. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.